let me take you back to March 12, 2016. You had been previously living in Gratiot County, is that correct? Yes, sir. With your wife and children, is that correct? Yes, that's it. And you had to move out of there uh, because of some mold infestation, correct? Yes. And you stayed over at a motel in Thomas Township, um, Gratiot, is that correct? Yes, sir. And that's in Sayano County, is that correct? Yes, sir. While there, you stayed there with the children as well as your wife, is that correct? Uh, fiance. Fiance, is that correct? Yes. And while there, you had your daughter, who's uh, Sienna, who's 10 months old at the time? Yes. And during the daytime, your fiance had left with some other family members to go to the store, is that correct? Yes. And you were there taking care of the kids, is that correct? Yes. And at some point in time, Sienna was crying, is that correct? Yes, sir. And at some point in time, you went to look at on, in on her, is that correct? Yes. And while doing so, you actually did, while she was crying, placed your hand around her throat, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you held your hand around her throat till she stopped crying, is that correct? Yes. And in point of fact, she died at that time, is that correct? Yes. And you did this uh, knowing that you, with your hand around her throat, that it could create either death or great bodily harm as a result, is that correct? Yes. And once the police came, you eventually told the police the same you know, after a couple of times, you told the police the same. Is that correct? Yes. I have no other questions relating to the underlying offense. No question. And if I.